Hello, I am Chief Kendra Brown with the Southwestern Oklahoma State University Police Department. I'm sorry we're not meeting in person, but I hope to see you around on campus. I wanted to tell you a little bit about our department. We have seven full-time sworn officers on campus. These are CLEAT certified officers, and a lot of times we get asked how we work with local agencies. And the great thing is we go to them, they go to us, and we are all having the same certification. We work very well together. In addition, we have one chaplain, one dispatcher, and one student worker. And the great thing is we also have nine reserve deputies. So these are men and women that give their time to help us out on campus as well. We are located at the corner of College and State Street, right across from Stewart Hall. And you can see our building in the back. We're known for that A-frame design. Some of the services Campus PD will do for you for free. If you are parked on campus and you lock your keys in your car, you can bring a key and we will lock it in our safe. And the benefit of that is you don't have to pay a locksmith. They start around $60 in town but your vehicle has to be on campus property. And we will come, we will try it out with that Slim Jim and we have some other tools that we'll try. If you are off campus and you have a key in our safe, you can have a friend bring you and get it. So if you're at Walmart, your local police department does not do any vehicle unlocks off campus. And we will only come out and help them if there's a living item in that car, a person or an animal. So you're gonna pay a locksmith. But if you can get a ride to the PD and you have a key in our safe, we can release that to you. If you don't have a spare key and your vehicle is off campus, you can bring an ID and we will loan you out an unlock tool. So that is another service as well. One of the common reasons you'll come to our police department is for your parking decal. So we hope to see everybody coming in this semester and meeting you in person as you come getting your parking decal. You will not have to bring any money. It goes straight to your bursar's account. And you will put this great decal in your driver's lower left windshield facing out. So really easy. If you come in with your student ID, it'll take less than a minute and we'll get you hooked up with that. Another thing that we offer is jump start. So what if you were late studying at the library all night and you left the lights on on your vehicle and now your vehicle won't start? We also see this in cold weather. So you can call us and if your vehicle is located on campus, we'll come with a jump start. It doesn't matter where your vehicle is angled. This is an independent tool, so it does not have to hook up to another vehicle and we will get you taken care of. And another great tool we have, we have a lot of first aid resources in our car. We also have an AED, a defibrillator. So we do respond to medical calls on campus. We do respond to fire calls as well. So you might see us working on campus with these different tools. Another great service we provide is a Swasu alert. So I will be adding a video where you can go to the Swasu website in the search bar type in police and you'll go to our website and from there you can sign up for free for our Swasu alert system. You can sign up your phone number and one additional cell phone number and we do not overwhelm you with texts. We very rarely use it. However, if there's emergency on campus, you'll get that text notification and so you are aware of the problem. If you are out studying late across campus or maybe you are driving in and you're parking and you feel uncomfortable about moving around, call us and we can do a safety escort. Things happen. Sometimes there are situations where we want to make you feel very safe and we'll walk with you. So just give us a call. Uh, this is also a good time to talk about crosswalk safety. We do have a lot of crosswalks on campus. Some of the crosswalks are within our U and some are on bordering streets. So when you are driving, you have to make sure the person at the crosswalk is out of your lane and the lane next to you. So if you need a little help, I can come and draw a picture for you if that helps. I'm kind of a visual learner and so we want to make it sure everybody's safe. But if you're walking through a crosswalk, I also want to challenge you to get off the phone and make eye contact with the driver of all the vehicles that you're passing in front of. We definitely want to keep you safe. If you want to know what kind of crimes we have on campus, you can go to our website, which I'll include in a video link, 
and you can look at the last three years of crime stats we have had on campus. And if you are a tangible person, you can come into the PD and we have it right inside the door printed out for you. So it's a great thing to look at what kind of crimes are out there. Speaking of crimes, you are the community. So if you see something, say something. I can't encourage it enough. There's no silly calls that we'll get. Um, a great example I use is one year a student locked her keys in her car and I tried to unlock it and I could not get it unlocked and her insurance covered a locksmith for free so she was waiting for that locksmith. In the meantime she went back to class and when the locksmith came a student saw somebody trying to enter a vehicle and called it into the police department. Now it happened to be the locksmith but I love that there was an extra set of eyes out there so if something doesn't look right please call us and let us check it out. Alcohol. So if we were in person, I'd be bringing some great DUI goggles, and those are still available for you. We have them at the PD, so if you have an organization, a sorority event that could have some use of those, those are really fun, and we can show you the different levels. But alcohol, you know, that's, that's a popular thing on some college campuses. Luckily, Swiss is a great campus, and we don't see a lot of problems with that. But as everybody's growing up and entering new experiences in different ages, I want to talk to you about the dangers of alcohol. You know, dangers of self. If you are um, very intoxicated, you may not be able to make a good decision. And if you are an event where someone is wanting to have a relationship with you, you may not be able to consent to tell them yes or no. Alcohol poisoning. If you're in a dorm and you're intoxicated and they find out, you're not staying there because they can't babysit you all night. And where are you going to go? You're going to have to find a friend on campus and we're going to get called and we may take you to the hospital for alcohol poisoning to get checked out. And you can't be left in the street, so you could get arrested for public intoxication. So just don't do it. Um, we don't want anybody to fall asleep and um, vomit in their sleep and choke on that. And it sounds awful because it is awful. Uh, intoxication out in public. I have uh, been working in a community where someone got very intoxicated and lay down in the middle of the roadway and was ran over by a car and did not make it. So again, not able to make those good decisions. Um, there are some jobs that if you have a DUI, you cannot hold that job. So, you know, law enforcement doesn't look real good if you have uh, a police officer that has extensive DUIs. So that's one example. And then you can be a danger to other people, getting in uh, a collision and wrecking into someone. A standard drink of alcohol, it's not necessarily the size of the liquid, it's how much of the alcohol is in it. So uh, a standard drink is 14 grams of pure alcohol, which is 0.6 ounces. And that's 16 ounces of beer or wine cooler, think of those glass bottles, and that's the same amount in eight ounces of malt liquor, five ounces of wine or one and a half ounces of a shot of like rum, gin, vodka, or whiskey. Alcoholism is a disease and you know if you look back on your family you might have someone in your family line that had struggles with alcohol and it certainly can be passed through to different generations. Uh, up to 40% of all the people in hospital beds, this is prior COVID, up to 40% excluding the maternity ward were people struggling with alcohol disease. Um, a lot of people were drinking at the time of committing crimes, 36 people. For DUIs, the Oklahoma requirement is 0.08 blood alcohol con content for those 21 years of age or older. That's for conviction. So if you are 18, if you're 19, or if you're 20 and you blow a 0.00001, you still could get charged with that because it's illegal for you to drink alcohol under the age of 21. And you will lose your license for six months. Think about six months of not being able to go to the mall, to the parties, to the restaurants, or anything like that. The first DUI in Oklahoma is roughly about $15,000 that you will pay out of pocket. Think of attorney fees, court fees, and all that. So it's a very expensive incident. The second one will cost you about $20,000. If you throw a party and you're 21 years old living off campus and you allow underage people to come and drink and you get charged the third time that happens it's a felony so a lot of people don't realize things like that i want you to take out your cell phone and program in swasu pd's phone number 
you're gonna think, I'm never gonna need it, I'm a big tough kid, but you might be a witness to something and I want you to be a good witness and I wanna give you those tools. Our cell phone, or our phone number for our campus police department, which will be answered 24 seven, is 580-774-3111. In the event that one of our officers is not there, it will go to Weatherford Dispatch Center at Weatherford PD. So it will be answered by law enforcement 24 seven and they will dispatch us out. Alcohol is among the most commonly misused active substances. One in eight adults misuse it. Men are more likely to use it, but women that are alcohol dependent are 50 to 100% more likely to die from alcohol related causes. So again, it's very near and dear of us keeping you safe. Um, that's just a little bit about our police department. I'd love to meet you in person and come talk to you. We're a very open police department. So if you think of anything that you have a question, it could be, hey, when I was in uh, a different state over the summer, uh, I got stopped by an officer and I just have a question. Now, I may not know every other state's laws, but I certainly can point you in the right direction. Um, so come call us, email us, come in person, talk to us anytime. We're here for you. We're really big on community service. You're gonna see marked units, unmarked units. You're gonna see officers walking. You're gonna see us on bicycles. You're gonna see us in the classrooms and different sporting events. So come up, meet us, talk to us. We're very approachable and we just wanna to get to know you better and keep you guys safe. So please holler if you need anything. Thank you.